Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to set up this cold storage electrical control box. First, let's talk about how to set the temperature. First, press and hold this unlock button, keep holding it down. Then look at the right side. If the unlock indicator light is on, it means the system is unlocked. All right, now take a look at this. Code 1. Code 1 refers to the lowest working temperature. When it reaches this minimum temperature, it will stop operating. You can adjust this using the plus and minus buttons, and each adjustment changes the temperature by 0.1 degrees. So right now, it's set to minus 18 degrees. If we press the set button again, it switches to code 2, which is the maximum temperature setting. This means that once the temperature reaches this maximum, the unit will start operating. So when the temperature isn't low enough, it will begin to work. At this point, you can also use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the setting. Right now, it's set to minus 10 degrees, which means the unit will start working when it reaches minus 10 degrees. When it reaches minus 18 degrees, the unit will stop working. It's very simple. Now let's continue and talk about how to set the defrost function. Press the setting button again to switch to code 3. What does code 3 mean? It means that the compressor will defrost once after accumulating a certain amount of operating time. Right now, it's set to 5, which means it will defrost every 5 hours. If you want to change it to 4 hours, just press the minus button. If you want to set it to 6 hours, press the plus button. Next, to set how long each defrost cycle lasts every 6 hours, press the setting button to go to code 4. Right now, it's set to 30 minutes, which means each defrost cycle will last for 30 minutes. Similarly, if you want to shorten the time, just press the minus button. If you want to make it longer, just press the plus button. Next, there's another issue to consider. During defrosting, the temperature inside the storage room will rise. Some people might worry that if the temperature gets too high, it could affect the goods inside. In this case, you can press the setting button to go to code 5, which is the fourth stop for defrosting. This means that regardless of the set time, if the temperature gets too high within 30 minutes, the defrosting process will stop automatically. Right now, it's showing 15 degrees here. If you feel the temperature is too high, you can press the minus button to lower the temperature. Now, I've set it to 12 degrees. Once it reaches 12 degrees, the system will forcefully stop working so you don't have to wait for the full 30 minutes. Next, we can continue by pressing the setting button to switch to code 6. Code 6 is used to prevent the compressor from starting up too frequently. Right now, it's showing 120 seconds and you can use the plus or minus buttons to adjust it. The time is calculated according to the timer. We continue by pressing the unlock button and now it switches to code 7. This represents the drip delay time after defrosting. Right now, it shows 5, which means 5 minutes, and you can adjust it using the plus or minus buttons. After defrosting ends, it won't immediately stop and start cooling right away. This is to prevent the defrost water from freezing. The defrost settings are just codes 3, 4, 5, and 7. These four points. It's very simple. Once we've set it up, you don't need to do anything else. It will save automatically, making it especially convenient to use. 